Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you've unplugged the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to pull out the lint screen and remove the two screws near the opening. Next, insert a putty knife under the front of the main top to release the two spring clips and rotate the top up. Disconnect the door switch wires and remove the top front panel screws. Now lift the panel up and out. If your model has two front panels, use a flathead screwdriver to release the lower panel from the retaining clips. If applicable, remove the two springs. Now loosen the two screws at the bottom of the upper panel and lift the panel off. You'll need to remove the back panel next. Then remove the lint housing by removing the mounting screws that secure it. Depress the pulley to release the belt tension and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. Now use the belt to lift out the drum. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the motor's rear retaining clip. Using two wrenches, secure the front of the motor shaft and unthread the blower wheel from the rear motor shaft. Now unscrew the old blower wheel the rest of the way and remove. Install the new blower wheel by screwing it onto the motor shaft and then tighten with the wrenches. Reinstall the rear motor retaining clip. Next, replace the drum by aligning its rim on the two rollers. Insert the tension pulley into the slots in the base and loop the belt around the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Rotate the drum to help align the belt. Reinstall the lint housing and secure the mounting screws. And replace the back panel. If your model has a solid front panel, line up the drum with the front panel seal. Then align the slots with the retaining clips and press down the panel until it locks into place. If your model has two panels, align the slots in the upper panel with the screws while lining up the drum. Tighten the screws. If applicable, reinstall the two springs. And replace the lower panel by snapping it into position. Now, reinstall the two screws on top and reconnect the door switch wires. Rotate the main top back into place and press down on the front to secure the spring clips. Install the two screws at the lint screen opening, replace the lint screen, and plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly.